man. Hey, bro. Hey. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, man, I'm trying to bet. Have you heard the one about the alien who walks into a bar and says, Mmm, I have a blue milk. Mm -hmm. Put it in a daddy glass. That's right, jump. Now, as impressive as this bizarre setup looks, these motion capture suits and stages are actually the standard way that Industrial Light and Magic uses actors to give realistic movements to computer-generated principal characters. Thank you very much. No worries. <laughs> you were very frightening. Oh, good. I mean, he's a nice dad, I think, Jamie. <laughs> Even the fact that Jalian here is being rendered in real time for the director to see during the performance is not in itself new. I remember back in, I think it was 2007, I went to ILM in San Francisco. I wore the ball suit and they turned me into a green alien live right there in the studio and I was absolutely blown away by it. Ten years on, just look at this guy. Hey, check me out. <laughs> Hi, man. What is brand new here is the live rendering of Jethro's facial expressions. Now, although facial capture has been a thing for a few years, so far the director hasn't been able to see the results on the character's face during the recording. You know, our big focus was around the, the face and being able to capture the face at the same time as the body, and we can determine what expressions are happening each frame, and then directors can see that live and make decisions on if the character is working as a character, whether his expressions need to change in terms of the model. In order to process an actor's expressions quickly enough, only one face cam and a few mocap dots are used. This simplified live data is then compared to a higher resolution 3D capture of the actor's face that's taken beforehand on a rig called the Medusa. Now, unlike other facial capture systems we've seen which take still images of the actor's face, here they're shooting video of my face moving into and out of each emotion. That means that the facial recreation and the animations will look a lot more natural. The live, high-quality rendering of both face and body can also become a magic mirror on set to help the actor to get into the parts. So I feel like this is how I get to know who I am, what my limitations are, what my body is, what my girth is, how it moves, how it sort of doesn't move. You see, I have a nice heavy arm, whether I have to consider that weight. And I guess it really yeah. does make you move differently when you're on set, if you're playing a, you know, a half-ton alien, to you being a, a I mean, it, young man. I mean, it totally does as long as I engage my imagination because can you, if you can see I'm totally uh, beautifully you know in a way that Jalian can't I, you know my wetsuit uh, moves in a way that maybe that arm and that outfit doesn't move it's good showing you 